two things about the nuclear question. When John the 23rd wrote, the nuclear question was the center of world politics. We lived in a world that was bipolar in structure and nuclear in content. The nuclear question. I do not think the nuclear question is the central issue of world politics today. I think world politics is more diffuse. It's more variegated. It is not, I mean, the, partly because the danger posed by it, which is real, is not the danger of 1963. We are not talking about the possibility of an exchange of 20,000 nuclear weapons inside of an hour and millions of death. Thank God that's not there. But the center today is nonproliferation. The center today is nonproliferation. Because if proliferation occurs, it isn't that the people who don't have nuclear weapons are less moral, less intelligent than those of us who've had them for a long time. He's, you just increase the chance of mistake, misjudgment, misescalation. All of that surfaces. So the North Korea case, the Iran case, uh, it is not so much to pick on other countries. It is simply to state the fact that if North Korea establishes itself as a nuclear state, I think we'll be able to adjust to that. I think we will. Uh, but it will, uh, it will be a constant source of concern, a constant source of concern. Not so much for us, but for the South Koreans. I mean, that, when, when, you, when anybody who's been to Seoul and knows that you can get to the dividing line uh, in less than an hour, understands that kind of danger. Secondly, there is the possibility of a resurgence of interest in nuclear weapons by other states. Uh, now, part of the argument about the Non-Proliferation Treaty, I've always said the treaty needs to be politically persuasive, strategically effective, and morally fair. And it is an inherently discriminatory treaty. I think you can still make an argument, it's consequentialist in character, that supports the treaty. But the fact of the matter is that people go nuclear possibly because others have gone nuclear. But they usually go nuclear because, as it's put, the neighborhood in which they live. And so, again, North Korea and Iran could be uh, the canary in the cage, if you in, in the coal mine. Uh, it could it could make nuclear weapons respectable again. They are not respectable today, even though nine states have them. So I worry about that issue. Do you do I think it's going to come to conflict right away? No, I don't actually. But do I think that it illustrates the fact? that interstate conflict and nuclear weapons have not gone away and we need to pay attention to them.